Aunt Sonia with Junk Monkey Paint Company. How's your day going out there? Hopefully it's been a good one. Are you guys looking forward to a weekend of crafty fun? Maybe some projects that you're finally going to get to? I'm going to knock out a few projects today. So I thought on the vlog today I would turn on my camera, take you with me. And you guys know my new rule is that whatever I bring into the house... I have plans for it. Well, let's put those plans in progress and say, for example, those baskets that you saw me get yesterday, we put them on the wall today because that was the plan. So I'm going to go ahead. I've got a couple things I want to get done today. So if you want to follow me around throughout the house and let's do it together. Yeah, little company's nice. So the first thing is we are going to paint this frame. This is one of the frames that I had left in my storefront and I decided to keep them and make use of them at my house. But I'm gonna change the color up on this one because that space that I'm talking about where I'm gonna put the baskets to, I think it would be cool if I painted this frame. I might frame a basket. We'll see, I don't know. I painted this a long, long time ago, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it into some vintage white today. The reason why I'm gonna go with white is because it's on a wall that it's a creamy color, so the white will show up nicely. We painted the table below it vintage white, and I feel like the white with the wooden basket, so the painted, and that's one of the things I love to do is to mix up new painted with unpainted. Anybody else? I am all about the old, the new, the painted, the unpainted, and I think it's when you bring um, a whole bunch of different things like that together that it's really, you make an interesting space, a one-of-a-kind space. I do like this in the vintage white, and I like that a little bit of the gold is showing through right here. Do you see that? You can kind of see that on the front, and I think that will look real good. Again, a little bit of metallics showing through blends well with my personal decor and it makes it interesting. I might even let a little bit of the red come through, but I just don't want it to be the prominent color anymore. Now we just let that dry. I think the white on it looks quite nice. All right, who remembers on the vlog this past week, we started framing some gorgeous art prints from Andrew Thornton, and there were two that I didn't have frames for. But then we went to at home, and I found these two amazing frames, and they were gold, and I love gold. Uh, two frames for $2.99 a piece. They're brand new. They're perfection. And I'm thinking that that golden key on that one crow and the crown on the other one, that this could be quite the marriage. Guys, didn't these turn out fabulous? Oh my gosh, I love the frames. They're perfect. I just want, want something that wouldn't be too busy with all this beautiful art that's going on in here so it doesn't compete. And I like the gold. Like I say, I have just a trail of gold, just metallics throughout my house. Keeps your space bright and happy. So the key, the, the crown here on the crow looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna go find some rubbing alcohol. I've always heard that that's good for taking off stuff like stickers and tags off of glass. Tell me what you use if you have a good solution. But I'm probably gonna, probably going to go see if I can find some and just rub off the, um, the corners of that. 
Wow, look at the sunshine coming in here, here right now, guys. I'll turn the light off again. So nice. Love how that looks in there. Next up, I'm gonna take an idea from you guys. You remember in the last week or so, I showed you that there were some things that I found that I decided to keep for myself. I bought them at auctions and I ended up bringing them home here to my home to figure out uses for. And there were these two jars. And I said, hmm, what would you use them for? You know, and you guys came up with things like acorns and pine cones. I think I suggested maybe some like fake lemons or something like that, just for decor purposes. And then one of you guys wrote in the comments and you said, how about like things like Tide Pods? I think you said Tide Pods or something like that. And I'm like, yes. How about dishwashing pods? And so these are pretty, right? So why not put them in these glass jars and then I could sit, sit them on my counter or on my shelf in my kitchen and I think it would look pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and see how that looks. I do like these old clothespins. Now I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with these. What would you do with old clothespins? Tell me, give me some ideas. I only have a couple. So maybe, you know what? Maybe I could throw them in my other glass jar and make them part of the glass jar decor over there with all the dried stuff that we put together. All right, I am gonna clean these out real quick though. Let me run get my cleaner. Let's just spruce them up a little bit. The only thing is I have to make sure that they are entirely dry before I put the pods in because the pods are activated with water. So if you have wet hands, they all start to stick together. What would you guys do? Would you soak off the old label that's on them or would you keep the label on? Thoughts, we can do that later. But I'm just gonna clean the inside, outside and get it prepared. And now for the fun, the fun. Do you guys have a good place to get your pods for your dishwasher? Let me know if you have a favorite place to go and you can get them for a great price. Don't keep it a secret. Tell us all in the comments. We'll be, I'll be looking. Ooh, I think I have enough for maybe a bunch in each jar. To see how much I now have. This is the most wonderful smelling project ever. So pretty. I'm so excited over dishwasher cleaning pods. Kitty, kitty, kitty. How's the kitty cat doing today, huh? Stan the man. All right, let's check and see if this is dry and it appears it is. Yep, which means we can go ahead and do that wall that I've been dreaming of. So this is the corner that we were working on and we created this little cozy corner together and I put the chair, Mr. Squirrel, but it's just got a blank canvas behind it. So when you have a small wall, if you can find a couple of small things, it's 
a wonderful thing together. So here's what I've got going on. We've got this that we just painted together. And then we've got these three baskets that was in my vlog yesterday that we picked up. They were $3 a piece. And I think the white frame with the brown stain, the natural wood, it should look really, really good together and just blend in with my wooden floors and my just distressed furniture that has a little bit of the brown wood showing through, like right here, you see that? So, and you'll find that all over the room here. So let's put this up. also thinking about adding these two baskets in. These are also two thrift finds um, that I found along the way in our travels. And I'm thinking that these even might be wide enough that if I put them on the wall, yes, they're the brown color, which would blend in really nice, but I could like use these as little mini shelves. So it will give me enough width if I want it to find like a, maybe a couple little succulents or something like that to add into the wall. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna put these on my wall as well. And then I'm gonna go see if I can find some greenery and maybe put in them. So I've decided to try to put a few of these little succulents that I bought when I was out clearance shopping. Got these at Gabe's and they were $2.99 a piece. Love a good bargain. And so there are three of them. One, two, and three, right there. I think they are the perfect size. They're nice and light. And I'm trying to just bring in some color into this wall. So I'm going to see what these guys look like at the top in the last basket and see if I can make use of both of them together. And now I just need to maybe find something for inside these baskets. And I think I'll probably put something fall-like in there. What do you guys think? Maybe I could find something with a little bit of buffalo check or something that would really pop black and white right here. I think that would be nice. So maybe I'll shop my house a little bit later this evening and see what I can find. And I'll keep you updated as I keep building upon it. But you guys just saw me put this together tonight. So if you too want to start a gallery wall and you love the tobacco baskets, the old basket look, three bucks at the Target dollar spot right now. Thrifted baskets, thrifted frame, and a little bit of greenery that I stole from another um, tin of flowers. I ended up getting the greenery from this tin over here, this old enamel tin cup. My dad actually gave this to me on a trip home to Canada, one of my last times home during the summer. And so I set it right here, but I found these pretty flowers at Hobby Lobby and I threw them in it. I love it. So I just took the greenery that was hanging at the back and threw it over in the baskets. And I love it. I love it how it's all coming together. This was a thrifted find. You guys remember the, the thrifted table painted in Woodland Fairy. Um, my gold frame here painted this in vintage white. This is just an old candelabra that we got when we were out junking together. So I'm gonna have to go get that Play-Doh trick and circle back around and do this one so my candles stay up nice and straight. But yeah, I promise you that if you junk and thrift, you have gone to the ends of the world to like pull all this stuff together. You know, you've been everywhere. And uh, I guarantee you, to you, you will have a very unique home if you just stay true to you and pick and do what you love. And I could totally relax here. So I am all about it. As long as you like your home, that is what is most important, right? So you do you and have fun. Go bananas.